Hey everybody, Jason Murch here. I'm the director of script services, stage 32, and the host of the writer's room. Coming back at you for week number four of the November Right Club. Uh, if you're here, you know what this is, you know what we're doing. We're updating you on the progress of all of those who are participating in this incredible, fantastic uh, group, exercise, experience, community, working together to lift each other up and uh, help each other uh, finish this year strong in a big way. We're going into the holiday season. Uh, obviously Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Um, and so this is a big deal. And so we wanna make sure that uh, as we are, you know, carving various turkeys, we're also carving out time to work on our screenplay, which is a joke that took me 20 minutes to write on my own, which goes to show that uh, we're all trying to put in as much effort as we can. Anyway, I'm gonna kick, kick it over to Angela. Angela, how are you? Good, I loved that joke. Thank that you. was really, that was good. Well, well done on that. I'm swell. I'm getting ready to make a pie here in a little bit, you guys. Nice. Found Cool Whip. For those of you who are paying attention to the Industry Insider yesterday, very important things. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Big Industry Insider uh, this week <laughs> on the Instagram, uh, Stage 32 Scripts Instagram, our in Industry Insider. Big part of the conversation was, where do you find Cool Whip? Um, in this post-apocalyptic world. I'm, I'm glad you did. That's fantastic. Yes, I'm thrilled about this. So I'm tell thrilled. us really quickly, um, you know, obviously we're, we want to, you know, highlight some member success. We want to put the spotlight back on uh, uh, some of the people who are participating, who are helping each other and getting their own work out there. What have you found? So many things. Um, lots of people who either originally planned on working on outlines or treatments or have since revised their goals so that they were doing that throughout this month instead, which is just so exciting to see. It's like, I could dive into the script, but I actually want to make the skeleton stronger first, which was, which I, I love reading up on all that progress. There's also a lot of people who are just straight up revising their goals just because. Um, Angela Van Sant Bumpus, for example, she had a whole list of goals that she was going to tackle for November, but then life happened. And so she revised them because life happened. She's like, I only have so much time and I only have so much attention that I can put on certain things. And so I need to be kind to myself. I think that's such an important decision to make. I think that whenever you can be kind to yourself creatively because of whatever is happening to you personally, like that's that's one of the biggest, most generous gifts that you can give to yourself. You can only give so much to the page if you're, you're not in a, a set and level place here and here, right? So great. Um, Jill Hargrave, speaking of treatments, completed a 43 page long treatment. 43 pages for something that she's been adapting, which is tremendous like what an incredible accomplishment um martha caparata who i just martha if you're watching this like you have been the most amazing cheerleader from day one of november right club so thank you so much for all the support that you've been giving everyone who's involved in this challenge along with you thank you for that alone martha had been trying to get after a task for eight months and she started making cold calls to two different historians who are experts on this thing that she's been doing research on continually throughout November. What a tremendously huge accomplishment. And we've been talking again about doing, making sure that we all have out of the box goals that we're giving ourselves, not specifically just writing goals for November Write Club, but like what else could you be doing? Research is a part of that, right? And like making calls is a part of that so awesome. Those are the things that jumped out at me, I know. But I, again, I just want to say that like the work that all of you have been putting in throughout this month is tremendous and extraordinary. And I've been so excited and so proud to see your progress like for these four weeks thus far. We have five days left. That's insane. I can't wait to see what else you guys do. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. And you're, you're exactly right that, you know, we people have been uh, with this from the beginning, I love, but it is never too late to start. And I think that given those five days and, you know, we've got a little bonus 
Monday, which is the 30th. But, you know, we're, you're at a point where even if it is a small goal and you've just found this out, you've just figured out what this is, um, or you've just been, you know, now you have the time to commit to it, there, it's, there's still a plenty of time to get stuff done. Um, uh, Wyclef uh, Ambaka, uh, he's finishing his screenplay, The Cleanser, by the end of the month. He posted that five days ago which is a great ambitious goal. And I absolutely think it's, it's achievable. Um, really uh, excited to hear that. Um, I also wanted to, to shout out to Daisy White, who is an author uh, who has 10,000 words to go. Um, but to your point, Angela is also uh, doing a lot of research um, edits and things like that, which is great. Um, she also has a short list of actors uh, for her audio book publisher today. And that's really, really exciting because again, um, it's all about how do you keep the process going once you're writing or after you're writing, how do you keep the momentum going on your project, which I'm super pumped about. Um, Carmen Mosley, who just joined Stage 32, by the way, so welcome aboard, very welcome. cool. Uh, about 14 pages in to her newest feature, which is fantastic. Um, and she's looking to finish character development and get at least 10 more pages. So again, Three very achievable, very attainable goals with the time that they have left. Um, and then Hank, Hank Bureau, um, just posted recently, again, I think like three days ago, um, that he's not only started collaborating on an action film, which is fantastic, action feature, um, he also has a uh, drama slash comedy uh, that he put the log line out for uh, as well, which is very, very cool. Because again, you know, it doesn't matter when you start being a part of this club and taking taking part in the challenge, it matters what you're trying to uh, achieve during that time. So I think these are all remarkable goals. Um, and Kay, I know, you know, we talked last week about how it's not just writing and it's not just acting, there's production oriented goals. I mean, what are you seeing in terms of, of the producers and production uh, entities that are out there? Uh, well, first off, y'all rock. And uh, it was all I could do to keep myself muted as you were making me laugh. So Thank goodness that we have these little control buttons because otherwise I would have been <laughs> all of your spiels with my raucous laughter. Um, yes, actually, I wanted to make sure that I, I gave a little shout out because I feel like the big difference between the kind of the screenwriter mind and the production mind is, is the hurry up and wait, right? So often when writers learn about things like this late in the game, they're like, oh, well, I don't have the same time. So uh, will I really even dive in in the last week? And I love, I love seeing the people that have dived in last minute. They see all the energy that's been generated and they're just like, I'm, a, I'm in, I'm going to jump on board. Because I feel like that's the same kind of energy that production comes in with. Like, it doesn't matter that we only have a week, we'll get it done. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to say, and I, I don't know if you mentioned uh, Janice Carlberg, who had said that she had her, she'd already finished her November draft. And I was like, well, you look at that. That's awesome. Um, so, you know, as much as we are here for accountability, and I also noticed you mentioned Carmen Mosley, she did that accountability post. And I was like, you know what? Yes, that's what we're here for. We're here so that you can just say, this is what I've done you know, uh, what sink or swim, this is what I've done. And then when you hit that victory, like we're here for that man. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the big uh, contributors so far are still Kane. Love that trailer that he's putting together. He's actually making contributions in the animation lounge since a lot of the, the pieces that are putting together for that trailer are coming from building the model and then putting it together. Um, J. Anthony Ramos, man, that guy's just got so many plates spinning at the same time. But again, that's the production mind coming in. Short amount of time, a lot of stuff going. He's just going to put it all together and make it work. And uh, you know what? I have every faith in him. Every time I see him post, I'm like, yeah, man, you got this. I can tell. Uh, and I, again, I wasn't sure if you mentioned, but the late joiner, uh, Ralph Anthony, he's also mm -hmm. like, you know, actor who's got uh sketch stuff going on and i find that that happens you know that hand in hand between writing and, and production happens a lot where if you're going to write something you need to test it out of course you write it for you know stage you write it so that you can kind of workshop it in an actor's space um and i love that he just kind of made it work right he's like well i've got this thing and it could be longer but at 15 pages maybe i'll just make it into a short so i love how he just kind of came in last minute and he was like you know what what i've got I'm still going to make it work. And now it gives him something to work with as an actor to workshop. So rock on. I hope you do well, sir. Welcome to the party. Welcome. 
Right. Well, and I think I think you both you both touch on this, and it is so important. You know, we're giving shout outs to people who are are you know talking about their goals, achieving their goals. But you know, in the case of Martha, and the case of a lot of the, uh, of the other writers and, and creators out there, helping others to you know keep up their momentum, helping others to um, keep up their drive and and want to succeed. That's just as important. It's such a big part of this. Um, and again, even if even if we haven't you know been able to cite everyone specifically, because there are, I mean, at this point, dozens and dozens of people who are, are, are you know, if not hundreds of people who are, are taking part of this challenge, um, whether they're vocal or not, um, to, to get that support and to give that support to others, it's such a big part of this. And I, I wanna say thank you again to, for, for, to everybody for being a part of this challenge, because it is so important. Yay! <laughs> And, you know, and again, like I said, we've got, you know, obviously we're finishing this week strong. Uh, we've got one big day left on Monday, which I think we'll do a final wrap up, ladies, if you're down for that. We'll do a little Absolutely. final wrap up. And the thing I want to do during that wrap up is let people know, get, we'll give shout outs again, our final shout outs to people, but also uh, award them some some goodies and some prizes and some things to let them know that we've been Woo. watching. We are watching. We're always uh, uh, around, taking a look, trying to help people out. So yes, absolutely. Um, but in the meantime, like I said before, um, and I kind of want to—I want to ask you both uh, uh, as well. I mean, like I said, it's 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 Thanksgiving. It's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, uh, 2020. Um, and obviously, this year has been tumultuous at best. Uh, I think that's that a great word. Yeah. Um, but there's still so much to be thankful for. And I think that, um, you know, when we sit back and we reflect on this year, so much of what I have to be thankful for uh, comes from this community, comes from the strength of this community. And so I want to thank everybody who's watching this, no matter where you're watching it, on the site, on social, what have you, you allow us to do um, what we love. So thank you, the community, for being a part of, of our process. Um, Angela, what do you think? I mean, I, again, like I said, it's, there's a lot to thank for ultimately. Gosh, like when 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 you put me on the spot about things that like mean so much to my heart, that is a that is a difficult thing to speak to articulately. Um, yeah, I'm incredibly thankful for this community. This is again something that we had, we had spoken about in um, the Industry Insider webcast yesterday. But so much of what we do as storytellers, I know, can often just feel like such a lonely endeavor. Um, and certainly now throughout the tumultuous year that we've had, where we um, are more isolated from each other than we, than we typically are. So November Right Club in itself, but really just having stage 32 as like a community, like it, it, it makes you feel supported and like you have people behind you to encourage you, to lift you up and to motivate you whenever you need it. And I, I, I am so unbelievably grateful for that. And I am so unbelievably grateful for you. And so unbelievably grateful to get to know so many people that I, I just can't wait to collaborate with down the road. So I'm, I'm very, very, very grateful for that. Absolutely, absolutely. Kay, what do you think? Uh, well, clearly I'm in love because I spend <laughs> all of my waking hours in the community and in the lounges going, you guys are so awesome. I'm so lucky to be here. No, but seriously, I, I think I have a very unique position because I, I'm not originally from LA and my introduction to LA was stage 32. So for those of you who are only participating with LA through stage 32, I can tell you that I feel like I've, I have only seen the best of LA because this is how I saw it through. Um, I met a lot of people through stage 32. I've met most of those people from those people. And there's something, I don't know, strangely uplifting, I think, about the people that gravitate towards stage 32. Um, because it's easy to get cynical. Uh, I think it's also easy to feel hurt you know, not just because of the tumultuous year, fantastic word, by the way, Love <laughs> choice. Um, but, but you do put yourself in a vulnerable place as a creative and the best way to not just protect yourself, but to build yourself up in that vulnerable space is to surround yourself with people that look to build you up. If, you know, the why not people. Um, 
And that's, that's literally consistently what I have found with our community. So yeah, I am so grateful for my why not people. And I'd like to just give a specific shout out to Jason because he's, he was my mentor yeah. actually, and thanks for bringing me along on the ride. And he's introduced me to such great people like RB and Nick and Angela and Taylor and Amanda and Harrison. Oh my God. So cool. Well, so thank you. And again, and, and thank you for being a part of it. I and mean, sincerely, I mean, we, I, again, I, I love the team that, that is a part of stage 32. I love this community that we're able to work with and interact with on a daily basis. Um, and again, thank you ladies for being a part of, of, you know, this, this team. I mean, obviously you guys came in, uh, at a very interesting time in the world. The business, <laughs> the company, um, and you've been, and you've been rocking it. So, uh, you know, again, and, and again, to everybody in this community, you don't realize how much it means uh, that you're here uh, for all of us.